welcome back Design Squad and in this video for Sketch Noob Master we're gonna cover symbols. One of the most important features in Sketch by far. I can't find anything else which you would need to focus so much if you want to master Sketch. But let me show exactly what I mean. In this case, if you remember my previous prototype, I have a lot of different bits and you're gonna notice these type of icons, which is basically like almost like a recycle instance icon, which shows like a refresh maybe, you know, you can kind of like see that it's different. It's purple, at least in this list, in this uh, sketch version. But this is basically symbols. Let me show exactly how symbols would work. So I'm gonna create a different bit and I'm gonna just basically paste in a few bits here and there so that you can see exactly what I'm putting in symbol and what I'm not putting in symbol. I'm pasting in just one bit and as you can see it's called sports tab. First and foremost I definitely need an arbor to display it right. But as you can see, I have a few elements here, which I designed and it's put in in a different states. We have icons, we have a rounded badge around it, we have a title. Everything looks pretty good, pretty clean, pretty flat. But once you design things in Sketch, you should always consider putting them into symbols. And symbol is a reusable component, which basically acts like a master in actual or like a smart object in Photoshop, you know, it's it's similar equivalent because you basically create a symbol out of, let's say, you can create a symbol out of an icon just by right clicking and saying create a symbol and then saying icon swim, let's say, and that creates a symbol. You can then go ahead and create a symbol from that bit as well. So like as many symbols as you want and then saying, let's say that this is badge swimming or something like that. And then you can also create the, the text symbol together with the other symbols and then say that it's, let's say, label, support or something like that. And then if this is your new symbol. Now, if you haven't noticed, as I was converting things to symbol, something appeared here, which is additional page, which is called symbols. And every symbol I converted is now being put in here and it's available to you. So let's see here I have that icon and let me just put a background to it, a background color so you can see exactly what I'm saying. Boom, so I have an icon, I have a badge I did and I have a full label. And why would you use symbols, let's say? Well, I now defined a structure, almost like a simple minimal design system where I have an icon, I have a badge, I have a whole label and I can replicate it and just change the content inside without actually affecting these bits. So I have my template defined, which is symbol, but then I can roll out instances and, and have it, you know, in a different shape. So let me demonstrate exactly what I mean by that. So as you can see, this is my symbol first and foremost, but let's say if I would want to add another symbol, I could just go down there and I can add any of these bits I already defined. So it, it becomes like an option, like an object to add. And if I'm gonna add another label like, like so, let's say, I can then go select this and instead of clicking in and you know, and, and kind of like destroying the bits here, all I need to do is just literally change different bits. So I can, let's say, select different icon if I have more predefined, I can select different badge, so let's say if I go in my symbols here, my icon is gonna be now like so. Everything is gonna be reflected in a design and I, I'm gonna have an option to select that badge, like so. And instead of swimming, maybe I'm gonna say triathlon and it updates automatically. So it becomes like a container which you can pre-populate with any text or imagery and then you can also change it to different bitmaps in your system so if you define a lavish design system then you can go go that way now this is the basics of uh, actual symbols you can go so much deeper and i'm going to talk to you in different sessions in the you know the future sessions of how to do so so stay tuned for that but i would recommend if you're new to symbols just start creating different symbols out of bits and start playing with it because it's really interesting of what you can achieve just with symbol working you know with a symbol sheet here but also working with them in an actual canvas and just treating it differently. So let's say this is not swimming now, it's maybe diving. And all I need to do is just swap the icon or swap 
one of the other bits or just make icon disappear altogether. So it's amazing. It's a must master thing. And stay tuned for more on the symbols. I hope this was useful. As per usual, give a like, subscribe to this channel, leave a comment down below if you would want to for me to cover something else. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.